Today I'm going to show you how to work up a row of three flowers of this flower lattice crochet stitch. I'm going to be using this Love Baby yarn. It's about a number one fine yarn and it's recommended to use a G6 4.0 millimeter hook. So that's what we'll be using today. To start we're going to want to make a slip knot and then we're gonna start by chaining eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop a little loop, remove your hook and count back five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook into the chain and through your loop, tighten your loop on your hook and draw up a loop. What this does is gives you a little tail and then a little circle here that we can work in. I call this our, the center of our flower. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to do two double crochet in the center of our flower. One, two. That gives us one petal. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to single crochet in the center of our flower. Chain three again. One, two, three. Then we're going to do two double crochet in the center of our flower. One, So that gives us two petals of our flower. These petals, the flowers have four petals. Now we're going to start working on our next flower, so we're going to have to chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Drop a little loop, remove your hook, count back five chains and insert your hook into the fifth chain. Insert your hook into your loop, tighten your loop and draw up a loop. We just created another center of our flower. Chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, and two. That's one petal, almost done there. We got a chain three, one, two, three, and do a single crochet in the center of your flower. There's our first petal complete. Now chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower. So one, and two. That's two petals on our flower, and we have two half flowers worked up. So we're gonna do one more, so we have to chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Drop a loop, remove your hook, count back 5 chains, and insert your hook into the 5th chain, into your loop, tighten loop, and draw up a loop. There's another center of our flower. We're going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to do 2 double crochet in the center of our flower. One, two, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, and two. This completes our first row <coughs> of work. We have three half flowers. We're now going to be working on row two and completing our first set of flowers. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower, 
one, two, chain three, one, two, three, and then single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to work two more double crochet in our flower, center of our flower. One, two. Now to finish this flower off, we've got our four petals. We're going to do a slip stitch in our connecting chain right here. Count back three chains, one, two, three, and insert your hook and draw up a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to start on our next flower. We need to do a slip stitch into the last double crochet of our next flower, which is right here. There's actually, you're going to go work under two things, so you can put it in the center of your double crochet and under this piece here, so you'll have two strands over your hook. Do a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, two, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, and then two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, Two. Now we're going to have to count three chains on our connecting chain. One, two, three. Insert your hook. Oops, sorry about that. I lost it. Draw up a slip stitch. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to do a slip stitch in our last double crochet of our next flower under these two pieces of string here, yarn here. Slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, two, we have one more petal to do. We have to finish this one off. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three, one, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One. And then two. Then we're going to join it to the last chain of our row, which is three chains over. And this completes our second row of work. There we are. Now we have three completed flowers. We're going to do our third row. Start by chaining 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Drop a little loop and remove your hook, count back five chains, and insert your hook into that fifth chain, and into your loop, tighten it, and draw up a loop to create a center of your flower. Chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Now this row, your first flower is only going to have this one petal. So now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Drop a loop, remove your hook. And then our first flower from our previous row, we're going to work in the corner stitch of our second petal right here. Insert your hook into your loop and tighten it and draw up a loop. Now we're going to start working on our next flower, so we need to chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Drop a loop, remove your hook, count back 5 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Insert your hook into the chain and in your loop, tighten it and draw up a loop to create a center of your flower. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One. And then two. Now draw up a loop, remove your hook. We're going to work in our chain seven from our previous row. Count over four stitches. One, two, three, four. Doesn't matter what side you count from because it's your center stitch. Insert your hook into that center stitch into your loop, tighten it, and draw up a loop. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three, one, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Now chain three, one, two, three. Draw up a loop, remove your hook, Insert your hook into the corner stitch of your second petal. You've got a petal right here and a petal right there. So on this corner stitch, there we go. Insert it into your working loop, tighten it, and draw up a loop. Now we're going to work on our next flower. Chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Draw up a loop, remove your hook, count back 5 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Insert your hook onto your loop as well. Tighten it and draw up a loop to create a center of your flower. Chain 3. 1, 2, 3. 2 double crochet in the center of your flower. 1, Two. Now draw up a loop, remove your hook, and then we're going to work in the center chain of our chain seven from our previous row. One, two, three, four. Insert your hook into your working loop, tighten it, draw up a loop, chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three. Work two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Now chain three. One, two, three. Drop a loop, remove your hook, insert it into the second corner stitch or into the corner stitch of your second petal. Into your loop, tighten and draw up a loop. Now that completes our third row. We have three new half flowers. We're now going to start on round four. So we need to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to work in the double crochet of our last flower from row three by doing a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, two, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Now to join this one, we are going to do it in our connecting chain right here. Count over three chains. One, two, three. Insert your hook and do a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch in the 
double crochet of your next flower, last double crochet of your next flower. There's our slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, two, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, two, now we're going to join to our connecting chain, one, two, three stitches over, do a slip stitch in that third chain, chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Join with a slip stitch to the last double crochet of your first petal. Now to finish this one off, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three. One, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One. Two. And that completes our fourth row. So we now have two rows of complete flowers. We're now going to be working on row five. So we need to chain eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Drop a loop, remove your hook, count back five chains and insert your hook into the fifth chain into your loop, tighten it and draw up a loop to create a center of your flower. Chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Now for this row, we're going to draw up a loop, remove our hook, and then we're going to find our center stitch in our chain seven. One, two, three, four. Insert your hook into the center chain, into your loop, tighten it, and draw up a loop. Chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three. One, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, Two. Oops. Two. Chain three. One, two, three. Draw up a loop. Remove your hook. Insert your hook into the corner stitch of your second petal of your next flower. Into your loop. Tighten it and draw up a loop. Now you're going to chain eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, drop a loop, remove your hook, count back five chains, insert your hook in your chain and into your working loop, tighten it and draw up a loop to create the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower. So that's one. I just need to get some more yarn here. Now draw up a loop, remove your hook, find the center of your chain seven, one, two, three, four. Insert your hook, tighten your yarn and draw up a loop. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three, one, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Chain three. One, two, three. Draw up a loop. Insert your hook into the corner stitch of your second flower uh, right there. In your loop, draw up a loop. Then we're going to do one more flower. Chain eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
nine, ten, oops, eleven. Drop a loop, remove your hook, count back five chains, insert your hook into the fifth chain, into your working loop, tighten it and draw up a loop that creates the center of your flower. Chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, and then two. Draw up a loop, remove your hook. Now on our corner chain here, we're going to count up five. One, two, three, four, five. And insert your hook into that fifth chain. Into your working loop, tighten your working loop. Draw up a loop. Chain three. One, two, three. Do a single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three. One, two, three. And then two double crochet in the center of your flower. One. And two. That completes your fifth row of work. So you now have two and a half flowers. We're now going to start on row six. So we need to chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. One, two, three. Sorry, chain three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three. One, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. And then we're going to join it to our connecting chain in the third chain. One, two, three. With a slip stitch. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch in the last double crochet of your next flower. Chain seven, or sorry, chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three. One, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One. Two, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, two, and then join it into the third chain in your, of your connecting chain. One, two, three, with a slip stitch. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Join with a slip stitch into the last double crochet of your next flower. Chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three. One, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three. One, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Join to the third chain of your connecting chain. One, two, three, with a slip stitch. And that completes your next row of work, your row six. After row six, I added two more rows, and that will give us four rows of like complete flowers. One, two, three, four. You have to finish off with an even number of flowers to finish off this edge over on this side. If you finish off with an uneven number you won't be able to finish them this way. So to finish off 
we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, two, chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower, chain three, one, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower, one, two. And then in your connecting chain here, count over three, one, two, three, and join with a slip stitch. Now chain three, one, two, three. Join with a slip stitch to this double crochet of your half flower. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three, one, two, three. Two double crochet in the center of your flower. One, two, chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the center of your flower. Chain three. One, two, three. Crochet in the center of your flower. One, two. Now we're going to join to our connecting chain in the third chain. One, two, three. With a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And join with a slip stitch into your beginning stitch. And that finishes off your work. So you have three flowers by four flowers tall.